What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> so to follow up to the last video about my syllogism, about, well, what I was talking about, well, here, same, same thing. It's just what I added to that post, but I'm not, but just watch the last video and you'll see why this is an extension. So to continue, also, if God can do anything, he can create any thing and can create any source and he can create anything so that he can make any source that he's created also be destroyable by his creation but here's the other here's the really important part if any creation of his is able to to i should have said act there i mistyped is able to act as a source as well as a creation and sources slash creation can cause injustice then any source slash creation that causes injustice that is eliminated would take injustice with its own elimination so basically what i'm saying is god can, if god could do anything he can then he can do the he can do the thing that is creating any source because it is a thing to create because an action is a thing and so if he creates a source he's doing a thing and so if he can do anything he can create any source and if he it would follow that if he can create any source he can also create anything and if he can do anything that didn't follow he can also do it he can create anything so that he can make any of his sources that he's created also be destroyable by his creation which again as i said here also can be sources of things because they act as sources and again if any creation is able to act as a source and any sources creation can cause injustice and again some people refute this but actually no so, literally cre creation can cause injustice i mean i'm basically just saying things cause injustice so then any source creation that causes injustice that is eliminated would take injustice with its elimination so basically all the creation are sources of injustice and if they're eliminated then the injustice is eliminated because the the per, the producers of that injustice is from the sources of the injustice which is the creation because the creation acts as sources of injustice but again since god can do anything he can create any he can create anything and so he can create any source but in the step by step process really what he does is he creates his cre he creates his creation which acts as sources of injustice and so he just has to eliminate they just have to be eliminated by other creation to the natural order of things like i've been saying uh, the people just have to have their brains removed that causes them to be unable to use compassion or well they're able to use it but it's very very hard for them to use it and in most in a lot of instances they cannot use it and so there you go so they cannot properly use it very they can hardly properly use it most of them cannot in history most humans so there you go that's what explain the entire gist of this syllogism if you liked this video, please like, share, subscribe.